FM 94, The Dark. It is that time again. It's time to get to know what band we play here on The Dark. And tonight, uh, it's cool. We're talking to a band that actually just won a couple weeks ago our Rock in the Dark new music poll. That means they have a good fan base out there. And we're talking about a band out of Dallas, Texas. The band is Drader. And on the phone right now, I'm talking to Cole, the guitarist of the band. And Cole, first of all, uh, I didn't even ask where you're calling from today. Where are you at today? Uh, right now, I am in Dallas, Texas. Okay. How's the weather in Dallas today? Uh, it's pretty nice. It's about 71, no clouds in the sky, beautiful blue skies. Good to hear. Good. Great, great. We'll be about 10 below tonight, so well, thanks for that. Thank you. We appreciate that. And good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about the band Drader and get into this band a little bit more. And obviously, as I mentioned, a winner of the Rock of the Dark New Music Poll. You got some votes, and uh, you beat out three other bands that week. How did the band Drader all come about? Give us the history of the band. Um, so the band formed in 2009 when we were 13. Um, we quickly became a hot novelty kid cover band playing hits you know, from Led Zeppelin, Metallica, The Beatles, and Kiss, and just bands like that um, around the Dallas area. Um, and then obviously several hundred backyard barbecues, parties, and festivals later, uh, we graduated into writing and recording our own original music. Um, and as time went on, we got the opportunity to open up for, you know, bigger bands such as Stone Sour, Chevelle, Three Days Grace, um, you know, and so on. Um, so that's, that's how we started. Wow, very cool. And it started very young, too. And that that's uh, always tricky, too, because everybody wants to be in a band. But then, you know, as you get older, things continue on and people go different oh, yeah. directions, don't they? Oh, I, I know that for sure. <laughs> Talk about the makeup of the band a little bit more. And obviously you have a female front of the lead singer and then the rest of the guys. Uh, tell us who the who the guys and gals are in the band and all that. Um, so our lead vocalist is uh, Liv Miner. Um, she has been in the band for a little over a year now, um, and we found her, or I guess she found us, um, you know, about a, you know, over a year, I guess, now. Um, and she had been playing in uh, rock and blues bands around town um, and was, ex- you know, extremely well-known as a guitarist and had a great fan base. Um, and it's funny, actually, when, when we were really young, Drader even opened up for her band uh, several times. Um, but we just, you know, didn't really connect, obviously, since we are our age difference. Um, and then when Liv found out we were looking for a new singer, uh, she auditioned and, um, you know, just pretty much blew us away um, and joined the band in early 2014. And, uh, you know, obviously she got the gig and it's been a perfect match ever since. Very cool, very cool. Now, when you guys, before before she came on board, were you just an all-guy outfit then? Uh, no, we have, we've always had a female vocalist. Okay, okay. So so basically, you, you always had a female lead, so you had to kind of fill in then the, the previous lead singer to the current lead singer, which is now Liv right now. What, I guess, were you looking for? Were you looking for somebody to try to just fit right in kind of with that, or were you actually looking for a little different uniqueness or a different twist to that? You know, we really wanted someone who could bring something unique to the table. Um, we've, I've seen a, a bunch of bands that, you know, have female vocalists, and they're great or whatnot, but they lack a sort of originality in the voice. Um, and so with Liv, she just has a really unique, um, very powerful voice, um, she can sing, you know, low stuff super great, but she also has an extremely powerful belting voice, and she can hit those really high notes, which is fantastic. And then obviously a huge plus is that she plays guitar, um, and she's just a phenomenal guitar player as well. So, you know, during writing and also live, we really, um, you know, groove and, and connect really well together so it, it makes for like a perfect match very cool very cool we're talking with cole the band drader i want to get to the name in just a moment but i want to continue on kind of talking about the female fronted band and it really has taken off a craze here it's just been kind of huge i would say 
especially on the active rock scene, maybe in the last five, six years, there are just tons of bands exploding, getting national attention. You know, it's not a, a rarity. I mean, you had back in the days, you know, with Evanescence and, and some others that you go even back even farther, like the Joan Jett and all that that kind of started things. But, boy, recently it's really taken off. Uh, guess, get your take on that a little bit of a female-fronted band and, and why so much of an explosion going on right now with it. Um, I think it's, I think it's fantastic. I mean, diversity in the music industry is, is always something really cool to see. And I think that, um, you know, for the longest time, the music industry has been predominantly male. Um, and while that is cool, it's really cool to see females take charge and still be really badass because, you know, no one can deny pure talent. And when you see someone else, you know, doing like a female, it just shows, you know, kind of how much more awesome that is and, um, you know, shows that, you know, girls can rock out too. It's not just a man's world. Now, I does she, really cool. I was just going to say now, does, uh, you guys are younger than that. Does she take on a mother role for you guys or are you like the, the, the big sister, little sister kind of role? How, how does that work in the band uh, dynamics, I guess? Um, we're not, you know, we're not that far apart from age. I mean, she's, uh, you know, two, years older for me all right so it's the big sister then uh i I would just say close friends i mean (laughs) you know i i I consider us on the same uh maturity level and you know we get along really well um so i just say you know really close friends that's okay cool i'm cool with that we're cool with that hey let's talk about this name drader uh where did it all come from and what's the meaning behind it um so the meaning really you know it doesn't really have a specific meaning um, when we started the band, uh, it was originally called Broken Spine. Um, and since Broken Spine was pretty uh, a lame name, <laughs> you know, we were 13 years old, what do you expect? Um, we came up with our current name, um, you know, and as we got a little older, uh, you know, we just decided to keep it. I mean, it sounded really cool, and uh, people started knowing us by the name, so we just figured, hey, why not? And we just kind of rolled with it. Very cool. So it's just one of those things you just kind of picked out of the hat, just showed up, there it is, and uh, here we are now, Drader, and that's what we're known for. Yep, exactly. Let's talk about uh, you a little bit more and kind of the, your music background when you uh, were a kid, and uh, you're still a youngster right now, but uh, I guess what it was influencing you to uh, get into the music world, and uh, what did you listen to back in the day? Um. That's a, that's a great question. I mean, there was a lot of artists that really inspired me. Um, I'd say the biggest inspiration for me as a, as a musician um, and as a guitar player was the band Green Day. Um, they were my first concert when I was eight years old. And I remember going to the show and seeing the spectacular show they put on with, you know, the perfect audio the perfect, um, you know, live production. I mean, it, it was just a really, truly an inspiring um, show. And from that moment on, that's kind of really when I realized, like, okay, this is something I'm very interested in. Um, and then obviously I progressed, you know, playing guitar and listening to more bands. And what really took the, you know, set the bar was when I saw Metallica live mm-hmm. for the first time. And that's what, you know, really, really clicked. It was like, okay, I knew I wanted to do this. Now I have to do this. Very cool. Very, that is awesome. And obviously, you know, in this business nowadays, uh, it's, it's hard to get rich. It's hard to get noticed. And you need the passion to be there and to do it. And if you don't have the passion, uh, your band isn't going to succeed. Am I right on that? Oh, I would completely agree. It's, uh, there's so many artists these days trying to make it, and if you're not 150% committed, you know, you're not going to make it. That's just the fact. Yeah, you know, and I I talk to a lot of young, up and coming artists, and uh, the one question I always like to ask them is, you know, obviously the struggles going on, trying to make yourself known in that, but uh, how tough is it for you right now in today's world, maybe than it was. 10 years ago. Now, you guys started as a band in 2009, so we'll just say seven years ago to today. Is it is it any tougher than it was back, say, seven years ago? 
Or has it gotten easier? Has social media helped? Has it hurt? Is the radio play not as good as it used to be? What are your take on that? Um, so I'd say it's kind of a double-edged sword. It's definitely a lot easier once something catches on because of the power of social media and the Internet, which I think is amazing. And without it, you know, I don't think we'd be in the position that we are. So I definitely accredit, um, you know, a lot of bands' exposures, you know, to social media. But at the same time, there is so many bands out there right now um, utilizing the social media. So sometimes um, it can be hard, you know, with the general mass to kind of cut through all that to really have something that sticks out, um, which I think is a, a fantastic challenge because that always, you know, pushes you and inspires you to create the best stuff you can and really work at it to try to get, um, you know, visibility. We're talking with Cole, the guitarist of the band Drader, a band out of Dallas, Texas, a winner of the Rock of the Dark New Music Poll a couple weeks back here on FM 94 is The Dark. Uh, I've asked you kind of your influences of music, in, in the, and so you, you mentioned Metallica, uh, you mentioned Green Day. How about something maybe that's in your music collection today that might shock me, like, whoa, uh, Cole's listened to this, and when he said he kind of followed Metallica and Green Day? Well, uh, one of the most influential bands, I'd say, of, in the past year of my listening to music is a band called Death Heaven mm, um, I've heard from of them. San Francisco, California. Um, I've seen them a couple of times, and they just never fail to blow me away. They're a, a black metal slash metal slash shoegaze slash... Uh, it's kind of hard to describe really what they are, um, but I'm just in all over their songwriting and how complex their musicality and their uh, lyrics are. Um, just to me, they capture the perfect emotion um, in all their songs, and I feel like when I listen to the music, I can very easily tell what the singer George Clark uh, was trying to get across, which I think is you know exactly what a band should be. Absolutely. And you, you mentioned the music and that and, and writing music. Uh, I'm assuming you guys do the writing. Uh, who does the writing of that and who comes with all, up with all these lyrics and stuff? Uh, it's a collaborative process. You know, we uh, we work together and, you know, we really just, um, you know, you know, kind of hash them out. We uh, after the concepts and frameworks and the emotional temperament of the songs are laid down, um, then we sketch out the instrumentals and, you know, kind of build up as we go. So the end result ends up being a very consistent theme throughout each track that is lyrically, emotionally, and instrumentally connected. Awesome, awesome. We're talking with Cole, the band is Drader. How about, uh, let's uh, talk about the active rock scene currently right now. And uh, uh, some bands out there, and I don't know if you listen too much to the radio or for that matter, check out other bands in uh, active rock, but uh, are there some current bands right now that you really like and really digging right now? Um, I'm a big fan of Three Days Grace. Okay. They have some really killer stuff. Um, I, I love the new Disturb record. I think that's awesome. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff right now. Uh, Hailstorm, yep. another female-fronted band. Um, let's see who else. I don't know. I mean, I, I, there's a popular radio station in Dallas uh, called 97.1 The Eagle, and I usually kind of tend to listen to that and find out a lot of really cool artists on there, which is cool. Nice, so, nice. Absolutely. You know, and nothing, the other, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, nothing really, like, you know, makes me kind of turn it off, really. So it's always cool to hear, you know, unique stuff on the radio, especially with, you know, new active rock. You know, I, I, a band that really took off last year, which is down in your uh, area, is Nothing More. I thought they really went oh, nuts yeah. off last year. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love Nothing More. I mean, they're fantastic guys, um, fantastic band. Yeah, they they really deserve, um, you know, everything that they're getting and more. Absolutely. Nothing more, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, we're talking with Cole from the band Drader. You know, I mentioned, uh, you know, bands that you're kind of digging right now. How about some bands or maybe a band that I have not heard of yet that I should uh, give a listen to sometime here? Hmm. A, a band or okay. Um, let me see. Probably 
Well, it depends. What type of music uh, would you like? Well, I was like looking at, on the active rock side of things, yeah. Um, well, this, this is not really kind of active rock, but the new Coldplay record, I okay. think, really um, I like that a lot. Um, did you check them out at the Super Bowl this year? Uh, I did, actually. I thought they had a great performance. Yeah. Um, Motionless and White, I'm a big fan of as well. Yep, absolutely. Um, I think they're a really cool um, active rock or more active metal band, but uh, nonetheless. Um, Periphery is another big one I'm, I'm really into. Yeah, a yeah. Lot of, a, lot, a lot of those, sort of those uh, kind of tech metal bands I really like. That's cool. Awesome, yeah. And actually, all those bands that you mentioned uh, all play on our airwaves here. At Periphery, we had it with their, their latest song, Alpha, not too long ago, and obviously Motion and Less White and those guys, too. So we've... Uh, oh, that's we, great. We spun, awesome. we spin that stuff. Yeah, it, it's crazy because, you know, I think back in the day, and I've been in the radio business for, well, let's see here. It's been over 20-some years, let's put it that way. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, back in the day, it was kind of scary for uh, radio stations to play even like a Nirvana or Alice in Chains and that. And, and now it doesn't matter. I mean, now you, radio stations are willing to do that. It, but it, it's changed over the times. Oh, yeah. I, I, think it's, I think it's really cool to see the, you know, how radio evolves because nowadays, like you said, you know, radio stations are, are more willing to throw out new music and stuff that, you know, kind of obscure or not from the norm and, you know, re can really help out a band trying to break through. It's got a really cool, unique sound. Hey, what would you have, if you had to put together your ultimate three band build to play with? Draders hanging out with uh, some other bands. Who would you like to play with? Slipknot. Avenged Sevenfold, Metallica. Now, you've already had that question asked before, haven't you? You had them right on your tongue, didn't you? <laughs> that, that's just something I, I know. I, I can never change my answer on that. <laughs> hey, you know, and you guys obviously do live stuff and that. Have you done much touring as of late? Um, lately, we haven't just because we've been working, you know, on... We just released the album and, and we're working on promoting that... Uh, but currently, you know, we're working on booking some small tours throughout the spring and some summer festivals. So we should be getting out there pretty soon. Have you ever been up to Minnesota to do any music? We have not, but uh, we very much hope to go. That'd be awesome. That'd be great to come on up this way sometime. And uh, our listeners would definitely love that here in, uh, in central Minnesota. Hey, how about uh, this is a question I love asking. And obviously, maybe your playlist, your songs aren't as... You know, you have a huge playlist yet, but uh, I'm going to pull this one out. And maybe we can even ask uh, with the uh, best I had, there, your latest single that's out right now, what artist would you like to cover one of your songs? So any artist, you could choose any artist out there, any genre, doesn't have to just be in the rock or that, it can be anything. What artist out there would you like to have cover one of your songs? That is a fantastic question. That is a really good one. Um, I'd probably say Tame and Paula. I think that'd be really cool to see their sort of spin on it. Okay. And do you have a, maybe a song in mind that you'd like to have them do? Um, hmm. Maybe Best I Had. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Or any uh, any song, really. It'd just be cool to see what they would do with it. It would be, wouldn't it? It's 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 very cool. I, I I love doing that question. I'd always do it with all bands because you get all different responses and that. It's just kind of, you know, and you, you get so much of the cover bands covering you know pop songs, but you never see the pop artists covering rock much, do you? <laughs> that is true. That I would love to see more of that. You know, because it would help the industry a little bit, I think, too. I. I yeah, that's a very smart thing. I, I think uh, someone needs to give Katy Perry's label a call and <laughs> tell, her, tell her to cover a, a Slayer song. Absolutely. Hey, have you have you heard your music on the radio yet? Uh, I have. I have. Okay. When, it is a great feeling. Yeah, I was just going to ask, what does it feel and what, what does it mean when you hear your song on the radio? Um... To me, it's, it's kind of a small token of 
we've made the right choices and we've wrote the right thing, um, it's kind of like seeing, you know, in, in a small sense, hard work being paid off. I mean, you know, any musician out there can probably relate that being in a band is definitely not easy. Um, and writing and recording and putting out an album is also not easy as well. So being able to hear, you know, somewhere across the country or across the world playing your music, something that you put blood, sweat, and tears into, is a really cool feeling. Um, and it's pretty hard to describe, but I, I feel that any other musician out there who has heard their song on the radio probably knows the same feeling. Yeah, that, it's just truly inspiring. Yeah, I, you know, I tell you what, I, I've never made a song in that, and I'm never going to anyway, but I think it would just uh, blow my mind if I actually did something like that and heard it and uh, realized, like, wow, I did that? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it is really cool. And what's even cooler is when people hear it and they, you know, contact you, hey, I heard your song on the radio, I really liked it. That's right. probably the coolest part. Well, and, and it is. And the cool thing, too, about it is, you know, you might have the meaning to be one way, but uh, somebody else, how they hear it, might have a meaning a different way. And that's even cool. That song can be going in different meanings. And it's that's the awesome thing about music. Oh, I completely agree. I think, you know, music should be kind of open for interpretation, and people should, you know, apply it to themselves, you know, in whatever way they they feel, you know, it should be, uh, which is a really cool thing, too. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely awesome. I love being able to, you know, to hear a song and think of what I think it means, and then I'll look up what it actually means. Like, oh, oh, I didn't know that. Right. You know? And this, that leads right into my next question. We're talking with Cole here from the band at Drader. Let's talk about your current single, best I had what is the story behind it what is the meaning of the song um so best I had is really about swallowing your pride and uh, confessing your love you know and after ups and downs in relationships you come to grips um, with the fact that no one else can compare um, that's when you have no other choice but to reveal that you were the best I had wow just just simple as that isn't it yeah just simple as that. It's simple as that, but, you know, sometimes it takes people a few times to think about things like that and realize, well, maybe I did have it as good as I did, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Wow. Hey, how can we find out more about your music here uh, and Drader? And uh, obviously we talked about touring. You might maybe make it up this way sometime in the near future. But uh, if people want to get more information about the band, get your music, all that stuff, uh, what's the best way to do that? Uh, so we're most active on, you know, all social medias. Our biggest one is Facebook. That's facebook.com slash Drader. We're also on Instagram and Twitter at, at Drader, uh, D-R-A-Y-T-E-R. Um, and we're also available, all of our music is available on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, Google Play, and any other place you can find music online these days. Great. Awesome. Hey, I love this great interview today a lot of fun talking to you great to find out about a band uh, down in dallas texas that's rocking the band is drader and you know what we're gonna play your latest song best i had right now thanks so much for joining me cole thank you very much have a great one once again that is cole he's from the band drader here's their latest song it's called best i had it's on the dark it's on fm 94